Hey everyone, my name's Nikki and welcome to my channel. So this is my bullet journal for May and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys this month. As you voted for, this theme is inspired by the circus. I saw the trailer for the movie Dumbo, the 2019 version, and then recently I actually saw it with my mum and I felt incredibly inspired by the movie. So I used the trailer and some photos that I found on the internet for reference. Everything of course is always listed and linked in the description down below so you guys can check them out and further detail. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out and I feel that it looks absolutely magical. I do hope that you guys will enjoy so without further ado we'll begin. To start I'm just drawing these circus tents in three different colors. I'm mainly going to be using three different shades in this bullet journal. A black pen, dark gray pen and a light gray pen. I'm doing the thing closest towards the front in the darkest color and then the things further in the back in the lighter colors to create that extra perspective. Make everything look a little bit more 3D and make certain things appear further away in the distance and some things more close up. Really the design is quite simplistic and here I'm just drawing this thing which shows the wind direction with these two elephants, a mummy and a dumbo at the top there and for this whole bullet journal the theme is very monochromatic but with a touch of extra colour. I feel like this is one of my more colourful bullet journals and I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Anyway I'm also using some Tombow brush pens for extra shading. And I'm taking my time, I felt that this page was quite time consuming as I wanted to add some extra detail in there. Right now I'm focusing on this little spike and this peak at the front here and I'm making this the darkest so I'm using my Tombow brush pens to really add that depth and also try and make it look a little bit more rounded and 3D, adding some light areas to make it look like the light is hitting certain spots and some darker shadows. Then now I'm using this white calligraphy pen to lighten up certain stripes on the tents because all the tents are red and white striped. I think that it's very good because it just adds a light touch of colour and makes it stand out a little bit more, look a bit more fresh instead of the slightly off-white of the page. I absolutely love that. And then for the red I'm using my Tombow blending brush pen and also a Crayola super tip and I'm using a blending palette just brushing the Crayola super tip on that then rubbing some of that Crayola super tip with the blending brush pen and just using that it creates this lovely faded watercolor effect. It's not too intense and I love the way that it turned out. Whenever I add color usually it's quite muted and I absolutely love that plus just to keep the theme a little bit more cohesive I added some blue bunting there as well and I drew around the corners of the box and stamped the month of May there. So I'm anyway, adding the finishing touches and I think this is a pretty cool introduction page. Anyway, moving on. As always, the first proper double page spread of my bullet journal is always dedicated to my goals and my plans and tasks. This month, I didn't actually add a calendar at the front. I felt that it was a little unnecessary as I wasn't really using it. Now I basically have this free space for my goals and then for my tasks, things like to-do lists and just some free planning space. I love to set myself around five goals each month, something to complete and work towards, but that's just me personally. For the decoration in the middle of the page I drew this table with these mice inside of this cage that looks like a circus tent. I was inspired by the one I saw in the trailer for Dumbo. So inside I mainly just focused on drawing the mice first and the little setting that they had then I worked on doing the bars of the cage. When it came to the area in front of the mice I used a thinner pen and then around the edges I used a slightly thicker pen just so you can actually see through and they're not blocked by the bars. It was quite time consuming but I absolutely love this theme and the amount of effort and detail that I put into it. I darkened up certain areas and I tried to thicken and darken the lines that are furthest towards the front and the lines that are in the background I make them a little bit more thin. Then I'm using my Tombow brush pens just to add some shading, an extra touch of colour and make it look a little bit more interesting. Also you can probably see that of course as usual this bullet journal spread is very monochromatic but it will have a little touch of colour as you'll see in a second. Now I'm also stamping the words goals and tasks at the top of the page just so I have a little heading and now I'm working on adding some extra detail on the inside of the cage and there you can see that's the little touch of colour. I am adding some red to the jacket and the hat of one of the mice. The following 
journaling page is basically my tracking page and this is dedicated for me to track my mood and also to track how much water I'm drinking. I've been doing some more unconventional type style of trackers and this one's a little bit hard to explain but basically I was inspired by the chandelier in the Dumbo movie and basically the idea is that for how I'm feeling I will colour in the chandelier bead a different colour and then also I've got some more that I can add for how much water I'm drinking throughout the month and I can keep track of that but just in my own little creative way. It's supposed to mainly keep me being mindful and keep it on my mind so say yeah I need to drink water and me to just analyse and assess how I'm feeling. So anyway I spent a lot of my time focusing on doodles because to be honest even if it's not the most obvious this, this tracker I feel that having that little time of day to actually draw something is really good stress reliever and takes my mind off things and I love to draw. So anyway I drew Dumbo using my Tombow brush pens and I added a little bit of blue to the eyes and then I also use a white pen to add that lovely little gleam. Next I'm basically drawing the outline of the chandelier. It's not that detailed right now but that's because I will be adding more detail throughout the month to track how much water I'm drinking and how I'm feeling. But yeah basically I used the one from the movie trailer, the exact one as reference. It will be linked down below in the description for you guys. Also for this I used a dark grey pen and a light grey pen in both 0.2 and 0.5 millimetres. I always use 0.2 0.5 millimetres in my bullet journals. Those are the most common pen thickness sizes and they're uni pen fine liners. But anyway, everything that I use in every bullet journal spread I always show at the end so you guys can see for yourself. I like to kind of be a bit more minimal with the supplies that I use and I tend to use the same ones over and over again just so you can see that you don't really need a lot and you can work with what you have. Now I'm adding a little bit extra detail because I feel that the page is looking a little bit too blank so I decided to basically try and draw a very simplistic circus ring and I'm darkening the edge of the circus ring there. It just adds a little something extra to the page because I felt that it looked quite empty but it is mainly for me to just use to express myself and to focus on my mood and have all of those nice little trackers. Then I'm using that click free pen to add some white highlights here and there. I absolutely love it and it's my first time using it actually. Moving on, we're now going to be designing my homework and revision double page spread. So this is very important and essential for me. So now I'm just drawing some of these flags at the top of the page to make the titles a little bit more interesting and I feel like it's very reminiscent of my Harry Potter bullet journal I believe that I did in November. Anyway, so in this page I have Dumbo's mum on the left and then Dumbo on the right and it's them reaching to each other with their trunks. I thought that that design would look quite cute. I have a little homework log on the left page at the bottom and then I have my revision log at the top of the right hand page. Usually I would give myself a full page for this homework log and it really isn't enough space but to be honest I do track stuff like my pre-reading and here I'm mainly going to just be tracking my big projects and, or bigger homeworks. Stuff that's really quick or things like pre-reading I'll just keep in my day-to-day -day planner. I'm basically using my Tombow brush pens, one in this light grey and a slightly darker grey, then my blending brush and a blue Crayola super tip just to do the eye. While unfortunately the Tombow brush pens do leak through the page, I feel that's because I'm really layering the colour on top and really blending. So in those areas that are highly blended or have a lot of colours laid on top of each other, they seep through the page. But the Le Mom journal that I use, the pages are actually very thick and incredibly good quality. So if you're looking for a good bullet journal, I definitely recommend this, especially if you're only going to be using the pen lightly and not really doing a lot of colour layering. You should be perfectly fine and it won't usually leak through that way. I also use some of my uni pin fine liners in this and I mainly use my light grey in 0.2 millimeters because that one was quite thin just to work on the wrinkles of the elephants and to really add some extra detail especially to the trunks. The elephants are so so cute they're absolutely adorable and I wanted to recreate them as best as I can and also try and get all of those details that were in the movie posters and in the trailer. Don't forget that you guys can vote for next month's theme by voting in the cards in the top right hand corner of the screen by clicking or tapping on the little I. A little poll will come up and you can choose which theme you would like to see next. I believe for June I'm thinking of doing a travel theme because I should be going to Geneva and Switzerland and I want to add some travel things in my bullet journal. So if it's not next month it'll be the following month or just something that you'd like to see coming up soon. And on to the next double page spread I have some trackers. So on the left hand side of the page we 
have my expenses tracker where I track what I'm buying, how much money I'm spending and how much money I'm earning. And I can have a little plan there at the top of the page where I can list things that I perhaps need. Also on the other page, I have my social media tracker. So I've changed the layout slightly, but basically it's got a space for my YouTube plans and then also my Instagram plans because I do have two Instagrams alongside my YouTube account. My Instagrams are underscore lums, a cool underscore, that's my main account, then also at Expressive Journal. So you guys can follow me there if you're into some bullet journaling content or if you just want to keep up with me because I post on Instagram daily. Anyway, for the design, I'm basically drawing Dumbo on this podium, reaching out for the feather, and I drew some poster like spaces for the plans on either side of the page at the top, and I stamped expenses, description, social media. You can probably see lightly in pencil, it says total at the bottom, then there's a plus and a minus. Basically, I write how much money I either earned or how much money something costs, and then at the end of the month, I will total up how much money I have either earned or lost. And then I have two calendars on the social media tracker page. I can plan out when I'm posting what, what needs to be uploaded. And now we are done for the most part of the journal. Next, we have the final section, and this is a diary section that I have every single month. Basically, I have a small area where I can just write down a little excerpt each day. I can write down my plans. I really like this layout, so I adjusted it very slightly. But anyway, before that, we have a calendar and a cute little drawing on the left-hand page. This is Dumbo, where he's wearing his clown makeup. First of all, I drew the outline in this mid gray 0.5 millimeter uni pin fine liner and did all of the main line work in that. However, next I will be using a Tombow brush pen and this is in a light gray. And basically I'm going to use that to color in most of Dumbo, so mainly his ears, the neck area, but I am leaving the face blank because he is wearing his clown makeup. I'm then going to use some other color, some darker gray to do the shadowing and work on that little bit but now I'm using that color free pen just to fill in the face as white as I can get it because as I said the color of the paper is quite cream it's off-white so I wanted to really make the face look quite clown white then using this light gray uni pin fine liner I just added in the wrinkles all of that extra detail that I had penciled in then with my Tombow blending brush pen and a Crayola super tip in red I colored in the tip of the trunk and the areas around the smile also with the blue Crayola super tip and and I added in the blue eyes. With a white pen, I added in the shine of the eyes. Now I'm mainly just working on some shading and just coloring in his little clothes. Very cute, bright yellow with the little blue buckle there as well. And now in, in certain areas where there are creases in the ears and folds, I just colored in with some of the darker brush pen. And then I'm using my lighter brush pen to blend on top of that and add some more darkness to certain areas. But really, it's just a whole process, letting it dry, going over it again. Just keep on working at it. So I will be coming back to this after I just finished this side of the page. And basically it's a simplistic calendar with the days one, the first through to the 31st, Monday through to Sunday. Then I drew a feather at the top and the bottom, that very signature feather because it's very important in the movie. Then for some extra detail, I worked a little bit more on the hat, added some fuzz here and there, and just worked a lot more on the shading around the ears. And now for the very final section of the bullet journal, this is my day by day diary section. So basically I drew eight lines on each page and basically each one of these blocks is a day of the week so I start off with Monday right at the top then all the way through to Friday Saturday Sunday and then have a little extra place for notes now this is basically so I can have a little square for every day and write down my quick bullet points I accidentally wrote 13 on the notes just ignore that anyway it's got week one week two organizes each week of the month like that and I find it quite simplistic yet useful is very quick to do because sometimes I just need a quick place to jot down any extra notes so that's it for the bullet journal and I'm going to flip through it quickly now. So here we begin with the introduction page welcoming the month of May. After that, we have the goals and tasks double page spread with a lot of free space for me to write down everything that I need to and plan out my month. Next, we have the mood tracker with Dumbo flying and the chandelier where I can track how much water I'm drinking and my mood with the colors of the crystals on the chandeliers. Then I also have my homework and revision planning page with also a log for all of the tests that I have coming up. Next we have my expenses tracker and my social media planner. 
then after that we have a very cute little drawing and the beginning of my day by day section which has a little calendar for the month of May. Then after that we have the day by day diary section where I can write down all of my notes and plans ready there and take some notes. So that was it for the journal and now for what I used. I used a black, a dark grey and a light grey pen from Unipin. And then I also used Tombow brush pens in a light grey, dark grey and I also used a blending brush as well. A Corolla Super Tip in blue, in red and then also in yellow. Not forgetting the white calligraphy pen and my white uni ball pen and some letter stamps. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget you can subscribe and and press the bell to receive notifications. You can vote for the next theme in the poll in the top right hand corner of the video and I will see you guys next week on Saturday. Bye!